When Facebook goes down, it loses $24,000 per minute. Every time your website or service are down, you lose money and trust. Recovering reputation once your brand is associated with being frequently down and buggy is hard. Also, you are increasing the likelihood of your customers to churn. Not to mention, you can face severe SLA compliance penalties. But how to check if your website or app is up and running always? By manually checking? Or do you wait for users' complaints? What about a solution that alerts you in real time if all your services, servers, apps, APIs, websites, or whatever product you offer are working, okay? That's Uptime 360, and today I will show you how it works. Now, we are in the app. The first view is the general dashboard that shows the average availability of all the services connected to my account, broken down in service, sites, checks, and blacklists. Okay? You can also check the notifications bar in the top right corner to visualize recent alerts. In this tutorial, I will walk you through setting up the main features of Uptime 360, including servers, websites, status pages, and alerts. Let's start with service. Starting to monitor our services may take us a few minutes. Check it out. We'll go to the servers and add. I will give it a name to identify it on the app. I can choose to assign it to a project to group all our apps and specify the platform where it is running. Once you click on Add New, it will give you a command that you will run as a root to install Uptime 360 on your server. Once we get the confirmation in the console, we will wait for one minute to start visualizing performance metrics. You can monitor different aspects of your service like CPU, RAM and disks to track their current usage and speed. Once you go to alerts, we can see that we can set notifications on dozens of uptime metrics, opening the door to many possibilities. For instance, you can set up an alert when your CPU usage is over 80% and you are reaching a limit to prevent potential downtimes. You may also choose the contacts you want to send such notifications to manage who gets what. A less technical but critical use case is checking if your website is up always, which could help you quickly spot downtimes and slowdowns that are wiping out your traffic. So let's go to this section of the site and add a new website. You can give any name to your website to identify it on Uptime 360. Now add the URL you want to monitor. And this search stream feature is pretty useful. Any element on your site looks up like your Google Analytics Tag Manager or Facebook script to see if they are fetched on your website. Okay. Finally, we will set up the alerts to let Uptime 360 know when to notify on an incident. This time we want to load time threshold of a maximum of 5 seconds. If our site takes more than that to load, we will count a new occurrence, but we will only trigger an alert if such an occurrence happens three times to avoid notifications overload. Okay? Once done, you will wait for one minute to start visualizing website performance data. With Uptime 360, you can check if your IP address is blacklisted in over 200 providers. Remember that being on a blacklist may hurt email deliverability, among other things. You just need to copy and paste your IP address and Uptime360 will start scanning which internet service providers might have flagged you. A great feature for end users is status pages. Status pages are public pages where you can publish these reports so anyone like your customers can check without signing up to Uptime360. Here is how they work. I'll click on status page to create a new one. We can customize the page look such as logos, images, titles, and charts. You can also personalize the services you want to share on each status page. So, for instance, I will share the website and server I set up in this demo. I can also display a message to notify incidents or updates to users. As an example, I can tell them we will have the planned downtime on a specific date. To finish, we will copy and paste the URL in the browser to access our status page and boom! 
Here you have a friendly page other users can visit to monitor their services. Oh, as you can see, users can also subscribe to receive an alert when you publish a new update. By the way, you may be wondering what kind of notifications a Plan 360 can send. So let's go to the notifications sections and channels. You will find out that we can trigger email, SMS with Twilio, Twitter alerts and push notifications. That's all for today. You already know how critical it is to have all your services up and running. You also know how to make it happen with Uptime 360. Good luck and thanks for watching.